Hi, this is Renee of RBOMastermindSuccess.com and I wanted to share with you why I had decided to sign up for Brian's uh, Level 5 Mentoring um, at an event that recently attended last month. So, first off, I've been spending the last, I, I would say the last five and a half years searching within, uh, looking for my inner voice to see who exactly it was that I am. And I have been working on removing a lot of um, heart walls, I guess you could say, you know, uh, things that I've, uh, I've been protecting myself all these years because my childhood was uh, highly traumatic. And uh, I had my best friend, Alan, my brother. We were a year and 12 days apart. And we supported each other through uh, everything that happened and very close to him. But about five years ago, uh, I, I actually, I, I thought I had put all, everything behind me. But uh, about five and a half years ago, my brother uh, called me up one day. Right after we had gone Christmas tree shopping, we had gotten our Christmas tree up, and it was a beautiful tree, gorgeous tree. But that Christmas, we never did uh, anything more with the tree past putting it up. Uh, no decorations on it or anything. Because my brother had Alan called to say that he was sorry that he had let me down. And I said, well, what are you talking about? Because we had just talked uh, like uh, uh, on Thanksgiving, just a few days before, and we talked about, you know, plans, what was going on for the next week or two, and he was going to write some more songs. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he calls and says this. And, um... The thing is, he had, I, I don't know where along the line, uh, what year or how old he was when this all um, actually happened, but he had developed, uh, he, he became bipolar. And um, I guess he had been taking medicine for the last few, few years uh, before this day. and. And it's guessed that he had stopped taking the medicine. So, um, later in the week, we had been searching for him all this time, uh, d during the, four, the three or four days, trying to find out where he was so that we could um, intercede and get him some help. But unfortunately, he killed himself. And that woke up a lot of people. My brother, my other brother was, um, I, th I thought he was going to go along that path because he was always depressed and he was taking heavy pain pills and so forth and so on. But fortunately, something good did come out of um, it all. And it turned my other brother's life around, and he straightened up, he, uh, he, he, he suffered in pain without the pain pills because he knew that he wasn't going to get any better with the pain pills, so, because he was doing more than he should, and so forth and so on. But he is a changed person, you know, it, it took him a few years, but he, he got on track. And as for me, I had a difficult time with it, but, you know, I had young children and and I still need, I, I don't know, I'm the type of person that, you know, I, I pick myself up every day, I move forward, I take steps in, in whatever way uh, is needed to make progress and to, to do things and, and to take care of business. But... 
um, inside, I kept on feeling like, you know, there, there, there's something missing and, and more to me, and that there's a reason that I live to be an adult, you know, because, uh, it's a, it, frankly, it's a miracle that we made it this far. And I'm very thankful for that, you know, thankful for my neighbors, for my dad, and for other family members who encouraged us and, and helped us get through some difficult times. Um, but there's something more inside. So these last five and a half years, I've been working very hard on, well, not really hard, I get, well, hard, I guess. Um, diligently or, or worked on being more open, you know, to who it is that I am, you know, to listen, to feel, to think, and um, be open to receive whatever great and wonderful things there are out there, and to uh, learn to express myself. Because soon after Alan had passed, a little voice in me kept on growing, you know, and it it, it showed its showed itself a little bit when my dad died, but more so when my brother died, you know, and that was to write a book. And of course I fought it because I didn't really want to write what I needed to write. And um, someone said, well, you know, sometimes it's just writing and it doesn't have to necessarily be published for somebody you know for it to have accomplished what needs to be done I've started it the book a couple of times and put it aside and when it stays I will finish it I know uh, but I'm more interested in healing myself and to uh, be able to express uh, who I am to receive um, wonderful people into my life and, and to hopefully have some sort of a positive impact. I'm very much into um, encouraging people, to loving people, uh, to give hugs. You know, I'm a huggy person. But there's, you know, and I've made so much progress. I, I've, I finally learned to stand up for myself and to say no more, and to um, make some pretty big changes. I got a divorce, and it's a very positive step in the right direction. But there's still something more. And then um, <laughs> when we went to this event, I had planned on playing hooky on Sunday because I wanted to go to Laguna Beach. The event was in Orange County, and Laguna Beach is one, my favorite, one of my favorite places. And I was there, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go. Because I had gone on that, that Friday evening for an hour or two just to be able to walk there, and it just felt so good, and I couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy. And then I heard Brian speak on Saturday. And then I thought, oh, I think I have to skip Laguna Beach. I, I need to go and listen to Brian some more on Sunday. So it, it just felt like he had a message and it just felt like maybe this was what I needed in order to finish pulling everything together because I had been um, listening and checking out different modalities of, uh, of, of mindset, self personal development, self-help, and I love them all. I've got received a lot out of each one, but I think Brian might help me pull it all together and be that next step that I need. Level five, well, sounds good to me. So anyways, I'm looking forward. I know that he's already put out uh, some videos even though the program technically doesn't really start until I think next week or the or the week after, um, but what he's already put out has been tremendous help for me. You know, there's a series of questions that you know whenever I feel uncomfortable and my heart starts going pitter patter or or my mind starts to chatter, 
uh, a little too much and not in the right direction, you know, because we're looking for positive outlook and, and for uh, making progress. So whenever I feel any of the, the, you know, any of that, I go through this series of questions. I don't even have to worry about answering them. You know, that's the wonderful thing. You just rattle off the questions, ask, you know, how, why, you know, how great, so forth and so on. And the next thing I know, I feel so much better. And if this is just the beginning, they haven't even dived into it yet, I just can't wait. I'm really looking forward. Thank you so much, Brian. And um, I'm looking forward to chatting with the, the, the group. It looks like a very friendly group. And I think it will be a great benefit. So in the meantime, I wanted to wish you peace and love, much success, and kiss, kiss. Thanks.